welcome back to the last cash stuffing video of 2022. I am so thankful for every single person that has subscribed to my channel, left a comment, participated in the fun events of Vlogmas. It means so much to me. Right now, I think we're at 448 subscribers and my current goal is just to get to 500 and we're so close. So if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed to my channel, please make sure to subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Um, today, we will be cash stuffing our cash wallet, sinking funds, and savings challenges and we are cash stuffing $450 a little bit more due to like a little um longevity check bonus not a lot like 60 bucks <laughs> um but I'm appreciative for every single dollar so if you want to know how I got these numbers then definitely make sure to tap the eye here to look at my budget with me for my second paycheck of December 2022 and my last paycheck for 2022. So I had some cash here just for some side hustles that I did throughout the week, but I did go to my bank and get $355 out of my check-in. If you're interested in this Taylor script, check out One Budgets Life channel. And we're gonna go ahead and count our money first from what we got from the bank and what we already had cash. I went in the bank today because I also had to turn in some coins. And if you wanna see me count my dollar savings challenge, definitely make sure to again, subscribe because that video will be posted um, this month before the end of the year. Try to get these ones together. I mean, these tens. Girl, they might ones. Those are tens. Okay. They count the money backwards at the bank, and I don't like, I don't like that. <laughs> okay. I think I'm, okay, I got everything. All right. Let's see if we can count this through with these 50. So, we got one. <laughs> we got 50, 100, 150. I don't even want to try to do it. <laughs> 20, 40, 60. 81, 20, 40, 60, 80. Let's just do this. We got 50, 100, 150. Y'all like my new cash tray? Super cute. Um, I got it off of Amazon and I'll put the link um, in the description box. So that's 150, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 80, 180. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred. No. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred, one ten. Okay, that was right. Five ten. So yeah, cash stuffing $450. Um, gotta try to scoop this out, but still kind of keep it in frame. I have my Duncan here. Um, today, when I'm recording this, is Wednesday. We got paid early because of the holiday, and Duncan had a free midnight coffee. Let's see what it tastes like. Hold on. Okay, pretty good. Um, they were out of some of the main things I use is actually kind of cold now because I had to go by the bank but I warmed that up let's go ahead and unstuff our cash wallet which we got a little money in here y'all so um out of personal letter we have 20 25 30 35 41 dollars so that forty dollars there will go towards a um savings challenge and the dollar will go to our um, dollar savings challenge that we'll be ending out after this video. Eating out had $20 left. What? Gas has $10 left. Wait a minute. <laughs> Groceries have 21 2 
for those dollars to go to the dollar savings challenge. And then miscellaneous got a few dollars. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Okay, and then I did this um, deposit for when I spend cash, like on my credit card, but I actually have the cash in my sinking fund, I'll pull it from my sinking fund, put it in this envelope, and that way I know to deposit it into the bank. But let's count this money because I don't think I've ever had this much money left over at the end of a pay period. We got 20, 40, what, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, what? I know we cashed up a lot last week because of the bonuses, but dang, I spent a lot too. And then once we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's 111, 12. So that's 112 dollars left over. Um, but these 12, well, with these, this right here, 12 dollars, I think, will be going towards my dollar savings challenge. So let's go ahead and jump into this cash stuff. And I'm super excited about it. I know I had a little money left over, but I didn't know I had that much money left over. Um, Letta, me, myself, and I, I'm getting $30. So that's going to be a 20 and a 10. And I love these new cash envelopes I got. I ordered some for my sinking funds binder too by the same um, Etsy shop. Eating out is getting wait. Yeah, eating out is getting 30. It got the same thing as me so I was making sure I, I didn't miss stuff it. I'm looking over at my denomination sheets. Gas is getting 60, so that's 20, 40, 60. I picked up the right amount of 20s. Okay, girl. Turn you this way or not. <laughs> groceries is getting 60. Y'all, we have so many groceries. It don't make no sense the way that we have been getting blessed with groceries from family members, but I'm going to take it. I complained about it a little bit because I was like, my freezer is packed. Everything is everywhere, but God is good. And we're going to be eating some salmon tonight. Thank you, Grandma. <laughs> and then lastly, miscellaneous is getting $10. All right, so that's it for my cash wallet. Let's get into these sinking funds. All right, y'all. Let's see what's going on in here. This is prop money. Please don't pay it no mind. I wish it was real. Household maintenance is getting... I was out of order. Okay, let's see. Did I... Did I budget house? Oh, no. Y'all, oh, I did. I was like, I think I forgot the budget. <laughs> Household maintenance, $10. <laughs> okay. So that household maintenance has $120, $40, 50 $60, $65. $165. And I still have not updated my trackers. I want to get new trackers. Vacation is getting... $25. And that's it. $25. Yeah. $25. So now vacation has $100, $120, $125, $130, $135. Um, I think the only thing that changed since the last time is I got SZA concert tickets. And that came out of here. That was $144. Colin is getting ten dollars. I think everything is getting ten. So Colin has fifty, one hundred, a hundred and ten dollars, and his is like ten dollars short from last time because um, he got a sweater, sweater weather. 
Avery is getting 10. Yeah, everybody else think it's getting 10. Only one that got more was a vacation because I have a vacation coming up in February. Y'all know I was talking about that New York trip. Book. <laughs> So Avery has 100, 150, 170, 190, 200, 210, $220. Yeah, we booked um the flights and the hotel is on reserve. Um, I think the hotel is gonna be like 150 per person, and I have that in vacation now, but you know, I gotta save up my spending money and everything like that. Okay, hubby is getting hubby getting five dollars, y'all. Why he didn't get 10? I don't know, but that's how the cookie crumbles. <laughs> All right. Hubby has 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75. He, he was good with 10. He got 75 in there. Um, Health is getting 10, which health is getting kind of good, too. So hopefully I can get to a good spot on all these sinking funds so we can start putting a little extra towards debt, but we'll get into that later. So health has 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 81, $82 in health. Holidays has getting $10. So, Holidays has 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 71, 72, 73, 74 dollars. Gifts is getting 10. I think I just pulled from gifts earlier this week for a kid's birthday party. So, gifts has 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 62 dollars. And then, lastly, in the sinking funds, we have self care getting 10. <laughs> uh oh. So, self care has 110. $112 in self-care. All right, and I did have a car um, sinking fund because you guys know I was trying to get like six months ahead on my car insurance or a month ahead on my car note, but I just put that money into a month ahead challenge because it just made more sense to me. With that being said, let's jump into a month ahead. That rhyme, y'all caught that? I caught it. All right, so our dollars, we already counted them earlier. I'm actually gonna take them out because I will be counting them in the video I record after this. How about this? If you can guess how many dollars I saved in this video, whoever's the closest, to the dollars I saved in this video, I'm gonna do a giveaway. And I already got something in mind, so y'all y'all make y'all guesses. If you gotta go back and watch a few videos, y'all make y'all guesses. Oh, I forgot the budget for emergency. That's what it was. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get back here to debt. Um, if you watch my budget with me, I'm trying to pay down my mattress firm. That's really the only um line of credit that i have debt in everything else is rotating and being paid being paid off but this is the only monthly credit card bill credit card is a ma mattress firm card that i have and so i'm gonna put tw no a hundred dollars yeah so debt is getting a hundred dollars um once i get to a certain amount maybe two maybe three I don't know, four hundred dollars. I'll make a bigger payment on that. It is interest free right now, so the other debt I had wasn't interest free. That's why I paid it off first. But this one is, and so I can kind of take my time and paying it off, and not worry about it accruing any kind of like interest charges and stuff like that. Um, the thousand dollar challenge that we have um, 
is going towards a month ahead. Once I get a thousand dollars saved, I do want to get like a bill binder and separate the bills that I have. I have wrote them out for 2023 and it's way, 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 way less than what we had um, when we started cash stuffing in June of 2020. So I did budget $60 to go into a month ahead. So let's start with that. Okay, so hmm, okay. I'm gonna do the two thirties here for the sixty dollars. Okay. And then I'm gonna do those two tens up there. Um, with the leftover rollover money that we had just to finish this line out. Okay, so I actually did 60, 70, 80 dollars. And then we still have this leftover. So this is 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70 dollars. I was trying to see if I could finish out that line. Um, okay, yeah, so let's do $50, another $50 into a month ahead. And then since I forgot, oh my God, I can't believe I forgot to budget for emergency, we'll put these 15 in emergencies. So let's do the other 225s here to make 50. And then everything else, those other 15 will go into the emergency fund. Since we forgot to budget for it. Jeez Louise. Okay, so let's see where we are with our thousand dollar savings challenge. All right, so in the thousand dollar savings challenge, let's add this money in here. We have 50, 100, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 415 dollars? Eh, okay. Y'all, we are moving right along into this thousand dollars. We have four. I can't believe it. We got 415. We're going to have to put a 500 dollar placeholder in here soon, honey, because I ain't keeping all this cash. All this cash on me. Let's go ahead and close this out here. And we're going to put the $15 in the emergency fund. So currently we have $1,000 in the bank. 50, 55, 60, 65, $1,065 currently for emergency, which is Really good because you guys know we are building back up from the move. All right, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for um, the counting of the dollar savings challenge. See you guys next time. Bye, guys.